Hey Tarot Tribe, it's Dustin from A Modern Metaphysic Man, and today I thought we could hang out and talk about my top five tarot books from 2018. But before we get started with that, I do want to say a couple of things. One, thank you so much to all 200 plus of you who've subscribed to my channel. It's crazy to think that it's only been two months now that I've been doing videos, um, but I super appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for supporting me and the channel. Um, and if you're new here and you enjoy what you see, don't forget to like like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. I super appreciate all of you. You're all so freaking awesome. And um, I do have a giveaway planned for when the channel hits 500 subscribers. So watch this space for that, okay? Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's dive into my top five tarot books from 2018. I do wanna start with an honorable mention first though. Um, which is this book right here. It's the A Practical Guide on How to Read the Tarot by uh, Fall River Press. It's one of those books that you find in the bargain section of, you know, your Barnes & Noble. Um, it's on Amazon, a few other places, but it's kind of one of those really basic intro to tarot 101 sort of books, and it's really good. I was really surprised. I bought it on a whim. I read it cover to cover in like a day and a half, um, aka like a night <laughs> and um it's it's just so thorough on uh on how to read the tarot and you know the meanings of the tarot cards and numerology and symbolism and uh tarot spreads and conducting readings and things like that it's just it's a really good beginner's book so if you're looking for an awesome beginner's book check this one out um, it is one of those like mystery author written by a group of people at the public the publisher type books but it was it was actually really good i was really surprised um so worth checking out um, so in at number five, we have the Fountain Tarot Journal. Um, I'm about halfway through this now. I got it about halfway through the year um, and I'm using it to record all of my weekly sort of tarot spreads um, in it, which is kind of what it's designed for, but it's a really good journal um, if you're interested in tarot journaling or a way to record your personal readings. Um, that you know if you if you have the fountain tarot awesome but the great thing about this is you don't need to have the fountain tarot in order to use this um they've crafted it and made it in a way that you don't you don't need to have the deck so if you're looking for a cool sort of journal system to check out um definitely check out the fountain tarot journal i recommend it in at number um four is the Origins of the Tarot by De Leon. This book is epic. <laughs> it is really dense um, and it is full of esoteric, occult, cabalic sort of information. Um, it gets really deep into the history and origins of the tarot, um, where the imagery comes from, what it has meant over the course of history, what it meant to people during different time periods. Um, it is, it's deep and it's thick. Um, and it, I really enjoy it. Um, I have used it mostly as a reference this year, um, but every time I turn to it to sort of like research something or to look at a concept or a specific card, um, it never fails to amaze me at the amount, the wealth of information that is in this book. So I definitely would check out Origins of the Tarot by De Leon. Um, at number three, <laughs> we have The Holistic Tarot. Um, so this is by Benabel Wen. Uh, everybody, I think almost everyone has had this book um, in one of their book videos on YouTube. Um, but this is a book that I actually just picked up this year and uh, it's wonderful. Um, it's a really good reference book for the RWS. It is from an academic approach, which I really appreciate as someone who has, you know, three undergraduate degrees and, and a master's degree. Um, it's, it's really well written. It's definitely written from a textbook perspective. It's not a book that I would recommend you pick up and read, you know, 
cover to cover. Um, if you are new to the tarot and you're looking for a good book, I would recommend this, however, but I would recommend that you go to Benabel Wen's website, and I'll be sure to link that in the comments below, um, because she offers a self-guided tarot course using the holistic tarot as her as, as a textbook um and that's how i would recommend using it if you are looking for you know a good starting point for the tarot um otherwise um not a book i would recommend just you know reading cover to cover casually it's very dense very full of information definitely an amazing reference book um so yeah it's a holistic tarot um okay so at number two, we have The Ultimate Guide to the Tarot by Liz Dean. Um, this book really surprised me this year. Um, I got it as a gift early in the year and I started looking at it and referencing it and reading it. Um, and the one thing that set this book apart for me from all of the other books is not only is it really detailed, it has... Um, it has these really cool spreads for each of the major arcana at the end of them to sort of explore them and learn about them. But it also um, has just tons and tons of information from everything from uh, numerology to astrological stuff to elemental associations to uh, Kabbalah, Hebrew associations, to chakra associations. It's, it's really... A great um, little reference book if you're looking for one but the thing that really made this book stand apart from tons of other books I've read about the tarot is that it really talked about card interactions and how if a card appears in your reading how it can aspect the rest of the cards in your reading and give it you know a different sort of tint um, and that's something that I you don't really see a lot in tarot books um, so yeah, I was, I was really pleased by that. And, um, if you're writing a tarot book, think about that. You know, a lot of tarot authors will talk about how different positions in a tarot reading can influence different positions. And sometimes you'll get little nuggets about how cards can influence other cards. But this Liz Dean's book was the first book where, you know, she straight up said, Hey, if this card appears in your reading, this is what it does to all the other cards in the reading. Um, and I really appreciated that. I thought it was really cool. It's a great way to look at the tarot. I've always um, read the tarot in that kind of a manner. Um, so I really appreciated that. And then in number one position is the uh, Tarot Wisdom book by Rachel Pollock. Um, this has been quite the hot topic uh, throughout the tarot community this year. It's a wonderful book. Um, it's definitely what I would consider an intermediate tarot book. Um, it has tons of great information, but the thing that I love about it the most is not only does she give you lots of different examples of the cards from different systems and different decks, um, my favorite thing is that she goes through and talks about the historical meanings of the cards um, in a brief sense. There, there is another book out there um, that I can't think of off the top of my head that goes through like the list of every meaning ever, which is cool. But in, in the context of her book, she gives you like this brief list of all of the sort of the major historical decks, what the tarot card meanings were, where those came from, and then how they apply to the meaning of the card today. Um, and how tarot readers today are interpreting the cards, which I thought was really cool. Um, and, you know, she really goes into depth, you know, after you get the sort of like historical background and the symbolic background, then she sort of throws it all into a blender of like, okay, let's talk about what it means today and what it can mean to different people. And let's talk about its context and art history and things like that. So it's a really great book. Definitely, uh, would highly recommend this as an more of an intermediate book. Um, not something I would recommend for a beginner tarot student, because I think it may be a little overwhelming um to have all that information sort of you know thrown at you at once um so yeah that's those are my top five uh tarot books for 2018 um so just to recap you know at number five we had the fountain tarot journal 
At number four, we had The Origins of the Tarot by De Leon. At number three, we had The Holistic Tarot by Benabel Wen. At number two, we had The Ultimate Guide to the Tarot by Liz Dean. And at number one, we had Rachel Pollock's Tarot Wisdom. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, let me know what you guys think about these books in the comments below. I would love to hear. Thank you for bearing with me with this frog in my throat. I've been battling this cold on and off, so I apologize ahead of time if uh, my, my voice got scratchy. Uh, I appreciate all of you so much for hanging out with me. Um, and remember, everyone's fighting a battle you know nothing about. So be kind, always. Bye, guys.